Amazon, count your days. Hey Queens, hey Kings, welcome back to another video. My name is Portia if you're new, but if you're not new, welcome back and welcome to another vlog. I'm not gonna say weekly vlog because today is Friday. <laughs> so happy Friday. And your girl is B. I literally have two brain cells left. Like I keep saying that. So yeah, we're about to get ready to go out to dinner. Hear me out. Y'all know I said I was gonna cook. I was gonna get groceries, all of the things. I actually have been cooking this week. This will be like the first time that we went out to eat this week. I've been back in my cooking bag. If you guys don't follow me on Instagram, please do so. What are you doing? Because I don't post that much there, but like if you wanna see more of what I'm doing, you'll be able to see it there. So if you don't already, go follow me on Instagram at Portia Akia but you guys that do follow me on instagram you know that i've been posting like little meals that i've been making this week i'll go ahead and search some pictures for the youtube girlies that don't follow me on instagram we're doing good this week i just want to get some food get a little drinky drink get a little buzz i still have work to do when i come home that's pretty much all that i have going on right now i just want to come and start the vlog i'll probably see you guys again later when i get done filming my video <laughs> last time i talked to y'all was last friday yeah i'm gonna just go ahead and agree with nicole at this point ain't no more posting schedule y'all get a video when y'all get a video i literally gave it my best well no i didn't i'm not gonna say that because i didn't but i gave it a good shot and i wasn't able to do it so at this point i upload when i upload but hopefully i will try to at least be at least once a week at this point i think that i really like taking pictures i think that i like taking aesthetic pictures and also just like capturing moments i don't really know what how that what category that would fall into like digital creation but i'm already a digital creator but like i really like capturing little cute moments and like cute pictures i think that i have a good eye for it so of course y'all yeah, know whenever i'm not filming i'm still capturing like little moments so y'all still was able to get a little of everything that's been going on last saturday i did end up going to get my nails done y'all i am super in love they're just super cute they're just giving peppermint vibes i absolutely love them and it's crazy how well i mean i'm not gonna call her my nail tech because she's just my nail girl like that's the same person i go to every time i go to the shop she's in high demand but she knew exactly what I wanted. She was like red French tip. And then she also gave me a little gift. She gave me a vegan body cream for Christmas. I thought that was so sweet too. Like, girl, what? Not a Christmas gift? <laughs> now I feel like I gotta get her something like small and cute, you know? I really appreciate this. Let me see how it feels on the skin. Okay. It smells good, but this will be a good little hand cream for me to use. We tried out the Peach Cobbler Factory, which I've been hearing good things about it, but this was our first time going. I got New York Cheesecake Banana Pudding. I really don't know what I was expecting, but the banana pudding tastes like, I don't know. I, I've just had better banana pudding, homemade banana pudding, if you put it like that. So it wasn't given what I thought it was going to give, but I do want to go back and try something else. But yeah, that wasn't given. I have a few things to do this weekend. I need to finish up Christmas shopping. I wanted to find some little cutesy things for our, our Christmas movie night. I did end up washing my hair, y'all. And I just put it back in the slip bag because it's the easiest style to like just get through the week because I'm not getting my hair pressed out because the weather right now has been just so ugly in Florida. Like 
well where i live specifically it's been raining cold hot raining cold hot like this the type of weather that will kill you literally like everywhere i've been all i've heard was sniffling sneezing at work in the store like this is just the worst time of the year the weather has been so ugly so I'm not gonna get my hair. I'm not gonna go pay for to go get my hair pressed out. Usually it gets like consistently cold here in like January, February. -ish, so I might wait until like then. It's gonna be Morgan's birthday and then my sister's birthday. So I might wait until then to get my hair done. I really, really want a sew in. Desperately want a sew in. But even then, like when my leave out. I don't want no poofy leave out. So I have more than two brain cells this week. That's the good thing. This is just a busy time of the year. It's been a lot going on. Life has been lifing and just trying to get through. In the meantime, I've been watching all of my girlies that are doing vlogmas. I've been watching Meese always. Her vlogmas is really good. And who else I've been watching? Morgan Flowers. Not too many people did Vlogmas this year, but those are the only two that I'm really watching right now. So if you need something to watch, I will link their channels in the description box. Their Vlogmas have been really, really cute. So let me show you guys what I got from Amazon and some things that came in from Amazon. I ordered this little, um, what is it called? I guess it's called like a tea steeper, like the thing you, you put the, let me show y'all. Amazon, count your days. Why is it so big? This look like the little things they be using in the laboratories. Why is it so big? And then I ordered it so long ago, so I already know I'm not gonna be able to return it. But yeah, it's a tea steeper. So you just put the tea in here sit it in your glass and it steeps the tea for you so this one is like extremely big so i'm gonna have to try to see if it'll work i really don't know what this is but i'm gonna open it like i said this stuff i have been just hoarding like i've been ordered this a long time ago and i'm just not opening it because i literally have a lot of stuff i be keeping packages and stuff over here okay this is my I guess this is like my car mount for when I'm vlogging in the car. Oh, okay, that's cool. I'll be able to like twist it and move y'all. And hopefully if I get it on there right and it fits my phone, but okay. So we have a car mount. So I'm gonna try to put that on my car tomorrow. I ordered this stuff a while ago. So I know I'm probably not gonna be able to send it back if it doesn't work. So maybe we'll read the instructions. <laughs> So yeah, that's all that I have going on right now. I just wanted to come and say hello. I hope you guys are having a wonderful December. I see everybody doing all their little Christmas festivities. I still want to go see some lights or do something Christmassy, which outside of the movie night, which we'll probably be doing next week. But yeah, I just wanted to come and say hello and like continue vlogging because I literally just left left it on pause for like a week. But I was still getting clips here and there. Y'all know I'm going to do that. Just because you're not posting something does not mean it's not happening. But I think motion can come in different forms. And I think lately, motion for me has come in different forms, especially in the forms of knowledge and just understanding different things. One lesson that I did learn or just came to the realization of recently is to just keep whatever it is that you're doing or whatever plan, like stick to your plan because there's a situation where I had a plan and I mean, I was receiving doubt across all around, like nothing but doubt. Like all I was hearing was doubt about it. I heard nothing positive about my plan. I heard no reassurance about my plan. It ended up working. Like it ended up working. My plan ended up working. And I just think that that was just like another reminder of like, Portia, follow your plan. I don't care if you wake up every day and there's somebody telling you, that ain't gonna work that ain't gonna work because one day it's gonna work and it's gonna feel so good knowing that you didn't rely on the validation of others to start or stop that plan like you you came up with a plan on your own and you pushed through the plan regardless of the negativity that was surrounding it and then it worked like it's the best feeling in the world so i don't know who need to hear this but stick to your plan.
I literally forgot my tripod, y'all. Like, I was intending to bring it. Tell them hey there. Hey. Hey, y'all. So, today is Sunday. Happy Sunday. So, I think the last time y'all saw me was yesterday. We was on some Christmas shopping. Y'all, I'm so proud of myself. I got, like, majority of my Christmas shopping done. The rest is going to be, like, cards and stuff. And we are getting ready to have our Christmas movie night. So, we're just going to have a cute little movie night for the kids. And, of course, I'm going to make some cute little drinks or whatever. But I just wanted to come and say hi. Hello, happy Sunday. Bye. Yeah, I'll see y'all in a minute. I know, I know, I know that you're drunk. Yeah. Tell me what you want out of this club. You know you're nasty. You know you're nasty. Oh. Who ride up my house, ride a taxi. Ride a taxi. I'm picky with my women, I'm deciding. Oh. Call me to your baby, I'm sliding. Yeah. It's just bad lighting right here, but the car mount is up and it's really cute. Hey, y'all. Yeah, they can hear you. Say hey, boo boo. Hey, hey y'all. So I got my car mount. The car mount is mounty, but I don't know if it's on right. The lighting is bad. Like I'm getting blocked by the light, but I don't know if it's on right. Cause like I'm having to lean it forward, but it's actually sticking. So I think it's gonna be like you know, it's gonna be legit. It's gonna be legit. So I'm happy about that because y'all know I said I couldn't send it back. So I would have just been looking crazy. But I actually like this car mount. Like I said, I'm not really sure about like when my car is moving because it's not on tight. But I think that's just how it is. I think I'm just gonna have to like, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how it works when I'm moving in motion. Maybe I can tighten it up, but it's really cute and I like it. So I will leave the link to it in the description box. It is Monday, happy Monday guys. It's like Monday evening right now. I just got done running a few errands and I'm about to be, yeah. We finna go get something to eat. Cause I was already on this side of town. So every time I come over here, I like to go to Mellow Mushroom. It's like a little pizza place. Also I have a Marshalls over here. I actually have one more gift to get. But I was like, if I don't find the gift, then I'm just going to give them money. Since there is another Marshalls over here, I can look in there and see what they have. If they have that last gift for this person. And then after that, I'll be done Christmas shopping for like my family. I'm excited. You excited for Christmas? Yeah. What you want for Christmas, girl? A hoverboard and a scooter. And a scooter? Yeah. What you going to do with a hoverboard and a scooter? I'm going to ride on my hoverboard because I never uh huh. I was gonna come to y'all last night, but I was a key can with Morgan having our little love and hip hop moment. Y'all remember love and hip hop? They used to literally be at each other's houses, sitting on the couch, full face of makeup, hair done, everything, talking about random stuff that they already know they been talked about before the recording started. Like that reality TV, love and hip hop in its prime is just unmatched. But we was having our little home love and hip hop moment last night. So I didn't cut on the vlog, um, but I wanted to come and tell y'all how Christmas movie night went. Did you have fun there? Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, the kids had fun. They had a good time. Did they watch the movie? Barely. Like they just watch, it's just certain parts of Home Alone that they like, like the part he puts the little movie on and it starts shooting up the pizza man. So they was just laughing and running around playing, having a good time. We had pizza and I made Rotel dip and we had some cute little drinks. I will leave the drink recipe in the description box. It was like a cranberry cocktail, Christmas cocktail. I'll leave the recipe to that in the description box. It was really, really good. But yeah, we were just vibing, chilling, having us a good time. We had a little girls talk and you know, do what we do, be cute. So I do have some of that Christmas stuff left over. So I'm probably gonna pack it up. I have Christmas festivities going on with my family and stuff. So I can take some of that stuff over there. So I need to like clean up that little area, pack up some of that little Christmas stuff. The dollar store has some really cute little Christmas stuff. That's where I pretty much got all of the little decor from. People, I didn't, them didn't let me wear the same dumb hat. Girl, she's talking about people, people. She's talking to y'all. <laughs> Girl, no. Oh, you went to Target to get that. Mind you, Bea had some Christmas pajamas that she had because last week, she had, I guess they did like a, um, what is it, your school, hot chocolate? They did like a, they did like a, was it a movie day at school? 
Yeah, they did like a movie day at her school last week. So she had already had Christmas pajamas, but they were like pink. They were Christmassy, but they weren't Christmassy enough for me. They were pink, but they had like little frost on pieces of frost on it. So they were Christmas pajamas, but I didn't want her to wear those. I wanted her to wear like some green and red, something more Christmas color. So we went to Target yesterday and try to find her some pajamas because I knew the other kids would have on like, you know, red and green pajamas or whatever. This girl goes in Target. She wants to be the main character so bad. Like she wanted this princess dress that had nothing to do with Christmas. And then really got mad at me because I didn't want to get it. Like, Dale, your pajamas were cute. No, it was ugly. Yeah. It was ugly. Girl, them pajamas was cute. And they no, were... no, it was ugly. Okay, let it go. Let it go. It's over. You got the pajamas. They were cute. Y'all were cute. Okay, we're gonna get you some more pajamas for our other Christmas Eve party. But yeah, so yeah, I just want to do like a little quick like something with my friends or whatever and just something with the kids because y'all know like the weekend of like Christmas is coming up this upcoming week and that's just going to be like time spent with family. So I just wanted to catch up and hang out with my girls, you know. Mm -hmm. Yes. And speaking of girls, so I also received some early Christmas gifts I want to show y'all. I'm probably not going to show y'all what I got for Christmas this year because I just feel like it's a, you know, I, I like to show you guys things. Like, that's what influencers do. We show y'all cute stuff. But to, like, show y'all my Christmas gifts, I don't know. Like, it could be a little braggy, a little braggy. So, I'm not going to do that this year. Like, I, after Christmas, for the last few years, I always show y'all what I got for Christmas or whatever. But, I don't know. I just, I'm not going to do it this year. But I will show y'all what my girl got me. These stocking stuffers that Morgan bought me that I'm super excited about. So she got me these Erase Your Face reusable. You know those cookies? Okay, we finna go in. Erase Your Face makeup removing cloths. They're so stinking cute. And you're supposed to be able to like, like she says that it cleans your face really, really good um, so that you don't have to keep buying makeup wipes and you can wash them and reuse them. So I'm super excited about these because my skin has been breaking out so bad on my forehead it always does that you know around that time of the month it does that but like i don't know what's going on but my skin up here has been breaking out so bad i don't know if it's because i've been using makeup or if i need to wash my brushes or what's going on so i needed like some skin care stuff anyway so i'm very very excited to use this to like wash my makeup off pond moisturizer I've already heard about this. I've seen a few people using this. It's like a little moisturizer. And like I said, I've been wanting like skincare stuff anyway because my forehead is breaking out really bad. So I'm excited to use this. Like, oh my gosh, my girl, my girl gonna come through every time. Like she's literally wants to come through. And then last but not least, Glow Reviver Lip Oil. I've been hearing good things. They say it's a Dior do i don't know because i haven't tried it i really love my house labs lip oil that i got from sephora a while ago like i was playing oh he just ran right into he just ran right into that wall <laughs> baby it is not that the piece of good but it's not that good to be running in the wall but yeah i heard good things about it yeah i like the house labs though i'm not even gonna hold y'all i think the house labs is really good i don't know but the girls on TikTok say this is good too and it's cheaper, way cheaper than the House Labs and the Dior lip oil. So yeah, I've been hearing really good good things about it. Very, very excited to use this because if I like it, then I'm just gonna repurchase this because I really, like look how bad. Actually, me and Bae have been using it. I need to get her her own lip oil. You need your own lip oil, girl? Look how bad I've been using this. Like it is almost gone. Like I've been using it down, but i really really like it it's so so good i was going to get some more after christmas because y'all know i i always request the four gift cards for christmas so i was just going to get some after christmas but if this is giving what she needs to give i'm gonna use it this week and see what it's giving then i'm just gonna get a whole bunch of these because they're way cheaper so yeah like that was just so sweet of her like she's just so sweet and thoughtful and she knows what i like so i'm 
very very grateful we're about to go in here and get some food really quick i'm probably gonna stop by the dollar store when i get home because i went yesterday but i didn't really get the things that i needed i was just trying to get in and out i was just trying to get the stuff i needed for the movie night and get out because there were so many people in there like y'all know holiday times baby it's really bad out here like the traffic is bad i'm probably gonna wrap some gifts tonight and finish up laundry get my life together finish editing in this vlog i want to show y'all how i do my little name i showed y'all last year i always do my own little name tags i love just making my own paper name tags it just looks so cute and i don't know i like the way they look so we're gonna do that a little bit later and wrap gifts so yeah i'm gonna come back to y'all whenever we get back home but i hope you guys are having a wonderful safe bye. week and vaya says bye say bye Bea. bye, bye. i'm sleeping on my cranberry cocktail because it was really good y'all make sure y'all check the link in the description box for the recipe to that really cute little refreshing holiday drink yeah child i ain't even gonna hold y'all ain't no gifts get round we ate that melon mushroom we came home and we literally passed out actually my baby passed out in the car on the way home and then we both came home and passed out about to go ahead and export this video so i can have it up for you guys tomorrow i have a lot going on this week hence it's the week of christmas so i'm definitely going to be even though i said don't hold me to no schedule we're gonna post when we post but i'm definitely going to be vlogging this week because i have a lot going on i want to take you guys with me for that for like all of the holiday festivities and stuff like that the drink is drinking let me show y'all this candle that i found at marshall's i know y'all seen it in the clip but how stinking cute like i don't even think the light is giving it justice because it has it's sparkly has like little glitter in it it is just so stinking cute like i really don't even want to light it because it's so cute and i already know the frost is going to dissolve down like i really don't want to light this candle and it also smells good. It smells like fresh linen, but I didn't buy it for the smell. I bought it simply for the aesthetic. This candle is so stinking cute. Marshall's has so much cute stuff. So I could not resist coming to try this lip oil because I was thinking about it. And literally, I was like, oh yeah, I got to try this. Like, So I'm going to go ahead and try it on camera with y'all. This is really cute. The packaging is really cute. It looks similar to the House Labs. It's just black packaging it's just really cute mm, it smells so good the applicator is thick and fluffy just like the house labs one let me see what it's giving uh it's a little sheer it's not okay nah i can definitely feel a difference in the applicator it's flexible so it kind of just flows with your lips as it's to so this one is just like straight. So if that makes sense, I can definitely tell a difference in this in the one that I use already. But as far as like the application goes, it smells really good. I love the smell of it. it smells really, really good. So yeah, this is cute. I'm going to throw this in my bag and take it with me tomorrow. It just doesn't have any tint to it. But honestly, I'm not really like pressed about the tint as long as I have the moisture. Okay, Elf, I see y'all. This is cute. As I'm reflecting on the year, just I'm extremely grateful for everything. Y'all do not understand how many silent battles that I fought this year. To still be able to have a positive attitude, a smile on my face and just good energy. Like I get people all the time that are like, that actually have the nerve to come tell me that they think that my energy, my personality and my happiness is fake. Like how could you be so happy and joyful all the time? Ain't nothing made up about it. Like I am truly just extremely grateful. Like if you know me, then you know, I'm very, very grateful. I already have everything that I want for Christmas, if that makes sense. I'm extremely, extremely grateful. You guys are another thing that I'm extremely grateful for. I love this platform. I love doing YouTube. Literally, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate every view, every like, every share, every comment. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.